Hey, I'm Mitch with uh, Empress Effects, and today I want to show you the Euro Bureau. It is uh, the Zoya, our effects pedal in Eurorack format. So it's the same. Uh, it's the same as the pedal, but it's got a four CV in, four CV out. Um, Eurorack mountable. It comes with an optional enclosure, so it can be a desktop unit as well. That's why it's the Euro Bureau, not Burrow like donkey. So it's uh, like a Euro or desktop unit. And it has the same uh, DSP as the pedal form. It does all the same kind of uh, the same effects. We have added a sampler so now you can you can add, let's see, where is that at? Um, a sampler. This will be released in about three months, and by that time, the sampler update will be out for this as well as the pedal form of the Zoya. We're still supporting the pedal form. It's not um, discontinued or any anything like this. We don't really consider this a Mark II. It's uh, more of like a whole new product since it's designed specifically for Euro Rack, and the pedal is more for guitar and synth players that want, um, you know, a guitar pedal style effect. So, um, they each have different uses, but right now I'll just show you um, a quick patch and what you can do with the pedal, or with the, um, the Euro Rack format with CV in and out. Since I now have CV in and out, I could use my sequencers. This is a, just an awesome factory patch by Ben Jordan. So the factory patches from the pedal or other patches from the pedal will work inside the Euro Bureau. Um, I'm gonna take that sequence and I'm gonna patch it out. Um, and now I can patch it out to like this drum by WMD. The only things going right now are the, the Euro Bureau and this fracture. And I can send that out. I could add, here's a, LFO from the Dip Kid Ox. It's a triangle wave. So you can see it will display the changing rate of that wave. But then I can patch that out to another CV out. I'll patch this up. And then maybe I'll modulate the frequency of that drum externally. And then I can also add, for example, um, let's add an LFO inside the Zoya. And I'm gonna put a square wave into that that same uh, to mix with that triangle wave, and now I have this weird kind of wave that's modulating the frequency. And that's just like a small part of what the Zoya can do. You know, you can still synthesize your own uh, music. You can synthesize your own uh, you know songs inside the Zoya, and then patch them out. You could use it as CV control. There's over 80 modules inside of the Zoya, and um, you can use all those in Eurorack now.